welcome or welcome back to the channel today i've got another lead guitar beginners lesson for you and this follows on from what we did in the last lesson last week where we were just playing over a one four five progression in e major but we were using the e minor pentatonic just shape one and we were only using it across three strings strings five four and three up here at the 12th fret so we was just using that small pattern there to play over that one four five progression today i'm going to show you how you can extend that idea so that you can make these solos a little bit more interesting i'm going to give you a couple of ideas how to do that but first Hello, sorry for the interruption, but if you are watching this video or you watch any of my other videos and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. It will help me to keep making these videos. And don't forget to ring that bell notification if you do subscribe. That way you get notified each time I upload a new video. Also leave a like, a comment, share the videos and all that. Without further ado, Back to the video. The first way to embellish that basic idea is to just take what we did last week, just using a, a two finger, two fret pattern that extend that across all six strings. Still in that same 12th fret to 14th fret position this will introduce a couple of new notes so you'll get an f sharp here at the 14th fret on both of the e strings the outer strings and you'll get a c sharp on the 14th fret of the second string the b but these two notes They'll fit over an E major, over an A major, and over a B major chord. They'll also, to a degree, fit over an E minor, A minor, and B minor chord, but some of them might not sound quite right, so you'll have to use your ears for that. But if you're playing over a major progression, these will work just fine. So here's a quick example of how that can sound. That's a very quick and easy way to get some more notes to play with. Just extend that two finger, two fret pattern across all six strings. The second method is we can take what we did last week, that basic three string pattern. But when we get to the third string here, instead of using the third finger to play fret 14 we're just gonna instead use this same index finger we're just gonna slide it up two frets so now we've got a 
and that now means that we can just repeat that pattern starting from fret 14 on the third string hopefully you can hear those are the exact same notes just one octave higher so we just slide that finger up when we get to the third string that we're playing now we do have to when we get there we play frets 14 16 on the third string but because of the difference in tuning between the second and third strings when we go to the second string we have to move up one fret and play fret 15 to 17 and do the same then on the first string and then we can come back down that now again once we get here at the 16th fret of the third string we'll need to slide down to 14 I use my third finger to get us back to our start position or you can just carry on using the first finger from fret 14 on the third string then slide back with that first finger again to fret 12 so it's up to you which of those two fingers you use to slide up or down but uh, you want to try and get that so that it's nice and smooth we can also take this down an octave instead of starting this at the 12th fret of the fifth string we can play starting at the fifth fret of the sixth string again these are the same notes so now we're playing on strings six five and four all the same notes just different octaves and again if we do this down here at the fifth fret we can use that slide method to slide up two frets again and start again from here from the seventh fret on the fourth string now again once we reach the second string we've got to move up one fret and then when we're coming down we need to move back down one fret Here's a quick example of how that can sound. couple of easy soloing ideas there for you uh, for when you're playing over your one four five progressions obviously once you've got these sufficiently under your fingers don't just play them straight up and down in a scalar fashion mix it up a little bit and uh, also mix up 
the dynamics, play soft, play loud, and mix up the uh, timing of the notes, the duration. Don't just play all eighth notes, for example. Uh, but once you've got these under your fingers, then you can start experimenting and you can learn how to play this same little lick uh, starting from any A on the fretboard. Obviously, that's going to require you learning the notes on the fretboard, which you should do anyway, because that will help you out no end. If you want the backing track or the diagrams from this video, I'll leave a link in the description below the video where you can download those. And also there are a couple of download links in there now where you can leave me a donation via PayPal or buy me a coffee if you so wish to do so, if you get anything out of these videos. But anyway, that's all from me today. I'll be back next week with another one fire. And until then, look after yourselves. Take care. Bye for now.